Welcome back everyone. Today we have another video, this time for a smoker as I haven't done a smoker video in a while. Uh, I think uh, that was one of the first videos I made and then I haven't looked into him again. Uh, I have played him locally and I have got some su success with him. Uh, I think he's really strong and I've come to realize something uh, while playing the deck again. Um, I don't even think Kusan is needed in the deck. I want to try a version without Kusan. I have it in the playlist for today. But I didn't even even draw it, and I think the power of this deck lies on Smoker and the removal, like Kusan and Kobe. I think those are the three most important cards, along with Borsalino, which is a, is a good blocker, and Kusan. Like, these cards are the most important cards in this deck. This Kusan, yeah, if he gets to a late game, but sometimes they're not going to allow you to do that. And if you don't draw in, like, he's not the biggest deal. I would still probably play it. But it's not the biggest deal that he's not like in the deck, like he's not a core piece of the deck. Um, I think these cards are more important. I think Smoker could be a more of, uh, but it's kind of hard to fit with uh, so many uncombable cards. Uh, but this is the list that I'm playing. Um, I'm playing uh, two, uh, three blockers because I, I just like the blockers on this leader. Uh, as you do tend to uh, have a late game where you just want to defend your life and your leader. Um, and that's when he comes uh, clutch. Uh, Isuka has been really good for me. I really liked her. Um, Kobe is good. Volcano at two felt fine. I don't want to draw too many of that one. Wave, of course, you have to play it. Um, Hina is just another blocker that is good. But, I mean, it's, it doesn't have the protection like Borsalino. So it's kind of um, in the middle. Um, but, yeah, the deck just uh, performed uh, admirably. And I think that the games... That you lose with this deck i think comes down to what you discard with your discard effects because um that's the most skillful thing about this leader like you have to plan ahead what you're gonna discard that this doesn't affect you in like two or three turns because i've lost games like locally where like i discarded the card that was gonna win me the game uh but i didn't see that far ahead to just think about that a scenario where uh, it would have given me the, the matchup. So, but this leader, it's still pretty strong. Uh, removal is really good, and he removes everything pretty efficiently. So I do like the leader as it is right now. Let's see. Some okay, game. I'm gonna I'm gonna play against Luffy here, and they're gonna make me go first. No, no, no. I choose to go second. Um, I I was the one who chose here, and this hand is just good right now. Uh, going second, he's playing. He, he seems to be playing the list that I posted. Oh, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it seems like uh, playing that card is just something close to what I was playing recently. Uh, here he attacks me for eight. That's fine. I'll take it. Uh, it's not the biggest deal. I'll draw for a turn and I'll play my. Since I have so many Kusans in my hand, I think I want to play him. Just in case he has a, a, a jet pistol, I just want to keep developing uh, my Kusans as they also replace themselves. And eventually, I don't need the blocker right now. I will need it later on, but not at the moment. I don't mind taking a couple of hits early on. Uh, so that's what's going to happen. I'm just going to attack him for seven, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to take it. I could use this effect to cycle my hand, but I actually think I'm going to play another Kusan. And use the removal next turn, so it's 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 a perfect curve, um, like curve following here. And I'm just gonna attack for five, being able to um, make it minus four, develop another Kusan just in case he gets rid of one of them, either by battle or by a uh, jet pistol. And um, I'm gonna attack with the smoker first, but that destruction is gonna happen either way. Yeah, he's playing a lot of the cards that I was playing in my deck. So, I also know how the deck functions, and I know that it is, uh, I mean, it is weak to a lot of removal. And in this in this scenario, I do have a lot of good removal here. Uh, he's attacking for seven, and I'm just going to let it die, because I have two more Kusans that I can use. Uh, however, I do want to, I, I have the, the six drop Kusan here, but I don't think I should develop that one. As I think I want to develop another Kusan, get my, myself more options for the discard. And also, yeah, there you go. That, that's a card that I actually want to discard with uh, with this one. Because it's too late for him to play him. So 
I'd rather just play him right now. And also, for me to be able to uh, to remove this guy, I'm gonna need uh, three energy in total. So I that was a slight mis misplay on my end because I could have oh no I couldn't have make it zero. So it doesn't matter. I I was just gonna attack for six either way. Um, I thought I couldn't make him zero, but I couldn't. I could and that, in that turn I couldn't have been able to do it. Now, if he wants to develop a white beer, I have enough. Like I, I can just destroy one of the white beers, so he cannot just develop a, a white beer. He probably has to run me out of removal before he can do that. And he's going. He's used one of the energy, so he's not gonna develop the white beer. He's gonna develop another six, however, and I guess he's gonna attack me for seven here and leave one energy up for um. A radical beam I'm gonna let it die again because um, I mean they're working very well they're, they're they're doing removal and they're working as, as defense again so I, I'm okay with that I'm okay with what's happening here and here I just attack with that one I will develop my Sakatsuki I will discard the blocker because I want to keep my 2k's and, and the Kobe because Kobe is going to be good to pair uh, up for removal. I'm going to attack for 5k because I'm going to also develop my blocker here. As and now, it's going to be really difficult for him to uh, be able to uh, destroy my Kusan by battle. So he finally runs out the uh, the white beer and attacks for 8, I assume. But now I'm going to defend it because I need this one. To be able to destroy the uh, the white beer, uh, I could have had block with the um, uh, with the uh, Kusan and combo uh, two one uh, uh, two one a one, but I want I wanted to preserve the Kobe anyway. Uh, I drew into another one, but I I just wanted to preserve the Kobe. I'll attack for seven. It doesn't matter if he has your pistol here. Uh, I will use the ability here. So I can put him to uh, four, uh, four energy. Anything can KO in either way, but I wanted to put it at four and attack for seven. I'm gonna attack for seven with this one as well. He wants to combo out of this one, so there's no need to uh, put any energy into uh, my Borsalino. Uh, I play my six drop, destroy the, la the white beer, and I have a full board. He doesn't have anything on board at all. And I'm able to just uh, win on the back of that one. Um, he just doesn't have anything here to uh, come, uh, answer me. And I have the uh, Borsalino back, so I can, if he plays another White Beer, uh, I will be able to just block with the Borsalino. My turn, I get to play um, uh, Zuru into attack with the um, with the Kusan, into play another Kobe to destroy another White Beer. And uh, that should be enough to win the game. That that like you even if if he had two white beers back to back, I would have had enough to win the game. So yeah, this one this game it comes down to how much removal you can uh, amass to destroy their big creatures. It's just it is what it is. It's not that easy for the uh, Red Luffy matchup. Um, but as long if if he would have been able to make me go first, I would have a much harder match uh, matchup here. Oh, okay, and we're gonna play against Smoker. I mean, <laughs> against Kiemon. Uh, my hand is really bad here, and I'm going first. So I think I do have to run the Kobe here, as I'm going to fall too far behind if I don't uh, make a play here. And if I make a if I play the um. The three drop that attacks twice, it, she's not gonna be good enough on this matchup, um, cause she's gonna get tapped and um, and she's not gonna do anything at all. Uh, however, I do wanna keep it because in this matchup, if if I can develop her in in the same turn that I can develop a blocker, she could be really strong. As Okay, so here I'll take the five. So uh, as she will be able to like clear the opponent's hand, uh, or at least clear the opponent uh, board a little bit. It's, it's really important. Here I will play my Kusan, and I'll attack with Kobe with fives and with um, a Smoker with five, uh, as I want him to um, to deal some damage. 
And if he wants to attack my Kobe, that's fine. Here, I'm inviting my opponent to attack me with the Yamato. As he will have to use most of his turn trying to deal me a damage. But he will have to also pitch a lot of cards. Like, he has two options. Either do everything, and at that point, I just take the damage. Because he basically just took a turn off, and I'm okay with that. Okay, so that's what he does. Or he could have attacked for 7, but 7 is easier to a combo. He could have even developed something else. So now I, I'm okay with that. I can take 2 damage here. He just completely uh, used his turn here. And I'm going to be able to destroy the, uh, the Yamato for free. Basically what it comes down to. Uh, my opponent told that, uh, that, that I was going to con out of that. And I, I, I just, I could. Because uh, that's 11. If I have a 2k, I could combo my whole hand just trying to combo out of this. But then I just lose the game. Uh, my removal doesn't work. Uh, nothing nothing in my deck just works if I do that. So I'm just going to attack for 5. If he wants to defend this, I attack it for 7. So I basically just take a 5k out of the opponent's hand. And uh, I don't think he's just going to defend it. Yeah, it, just, it, it, was, it wasn't worth it. And here, I could develop... Um, a blocker and something else. But I just I'm just going to develop the smoker. As uh, this car is going to be able to generate some pressure that the opponent is going to have to keep up some energy up to just try to deal with it. And that's important. That's very important. And here I will de I will defend my um, my Kusan because it's the main answer that I have for the A-drop. And he could play the A-drop here right now or any of the big drops. But this Kusan is keeping him on check as to he's not able to develop anything because i have that car on board so it's very important to keep it on board as uh, it's going to be able to um prevent my opponent from playing something big and if he does play something big it's going to be a much harder deck, uh, game for me so i have to be able to answer his big plays on site and at the same time i have to be able to um okay so yeah he attacks for seven uh, attacking for seven, I will defend that one again, as I was saying. Uh, I don't want that this dispatch my Kobe, as it's gonna be important later on. Uh, here, I know he's keeping up for two energy for Pong Gibson, so I have to play around that. Uh, but before I do that, I want to get the effect going. Uh, I'll attack uh, one of the Momos and use the ability to give him uh, himself one K, and I'll attack for ten. Just enough where he has to out combo with a Pong Gibson and a 2k and a 1k. So I want to clean his hand a little bit uh, and be able to. Um, I knew he was going to out combo that one because uh, they don't want to take a double strike and put this up too low. And I just wanted to just clear his hand a little bit. And that's why I attacked for that number. Play a blocker so I can defend my Kusan. That's the card that I want to defend. Not so much the Smoker, but I want to be able to protect my Kusan. As he's going to be able to defend uh, another big play, like which is what he does here right now. And he attacks for 5. I just combo for uh, block for 6. As he's representing another Pawn Gibson. So it's another... I, I have to play around that one again. But it's not that difficult because I will attack the leader for 5. And uh, I don't think he's going to use a Pawn Gibson there. Now attack with the blocker for 5 because I don't want to get Pawn Gibson. Uh, so now he has to give me another 1k, which is fine. And then I have the leader ability. This is a misclick that I do here. I meant to click on the um, Odin, but I click on the one drop instead. Uh, but it's, the, the play is still salvageable because I have a, a, a Tsuru on hand. At the end of all of this, I should still have one card in my hand. But it's fine. It's not the biggest deal. I was still able to... Um, I'm still going to be able to do the numbers. I know he has a blocker, so the, the double strike is never going to connect again. Uh, but it, it attacking for 7k is just good enough to win. Now I have to do the Zuru play. Uh, so I didn't I didn't want to do it this way, but I mean, it's where I am right now. But I, I, do, I was saving the double Kobe play here. Uh, so I could KO the 8 drop, KO this one. I have 5 cards on board. He has 1 life. And there is just... He has to present a lot of things to be able to win. I'm at two life, so I'm never gonna just die on this turn. I might, I might lose one of my cards on board, 
uh, but I'm not gonna uh, like I'm not gonna lose the game this turn. And I also he has to present blockers, he has to present uh, threats, and he has to present defense to be able to uh, combo four attacks next turn. So that's the, the the play that I made. Even though I have no cards in hand, I have too many attackers here to protect myself, and that's just important. Uh, just to 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 go for game next turn. So I will I would have attacked for seven 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 and won the game on on the back of the cards that I have on board. All right, and we're gonna play against White Beer now. Uh, White Beer, it's an okay match depending on what version they're playing. I do have removal for their big threats, so it's not the most difficult matchup. I think playing the Nami is a mistake, however, as it's gonna give me um, uh, like enough pressure here. Like he's gonna give me a free target that is gonna increase the attack on my on my uh, smoker, and that's just free value for me. So let's see what my opponent has here. I'll take the first damage. It's not the biggest deal. I don't wanna. I start out comboing too early, and he plays the Makimo and attacks me for five. Now this one I would like to out combo maybe because I don't wanna start like taking five Ks here. Uh, I wanna keep my Kobe for right now as is gonna be. Um, important but now i didn't have a play for my um this turn because i wanted to develop this smoker that's why i kept this hand and uh he gave me a play that i can attack i just can attack his nami and that's fine i don't attack his makimo because if he has another makimo it just makes like attacking the makimo was horrible and if he wants to spend energy into to attack with a makimo if he has another makimo i'm okay with that i i, I at that point i got rid of another 2k from his hand and I'm okay with that. I mean, his hand doesn't seem to be good at this moment, uh, to be honest, because uh, he's attacking with Luffy's and he's not like not playing like decent cards. I will destroy the Brook because uh, I I don't want him to just keep going wide. Uh, at some point, he's, there is uh, there is such a thing as too much uh, for going wide. Uh, let's see what the play is gonna be here. He's gonna play the Luffy. Okay, well, again, he doesn't seem to have the best hand, uh, but I'm, I mean, of course, I'm going to capitalize on that. And I want him, again, take some cards out of his hand, because I'm, I'm sure he doesn't want to go to zero. And I just want to, I just want him to out combo this attack. Just keep taking two Ks and one Ks out of the hand. And this is exactly what happens. And then I'll attack the Luffy, because uh, he, the, the next turn is not those. He's not the white beer turn, so he might expend energy just attacking me. So I do have to remove the uh, the attackers for one turn at least. And I played the uh, Kusan over the Borsalino. Um, not really reason, uh, but it, now it makes uh, it makes my play much better because uh, I'm able to remove the ace, and the ace is a problem for sure. And he attacks my leader for seven, and I'll take this one because I know I'm gonna need some cards to defend my Kusan, uh, as he's gonna be uh, the removal for um, the white beer. Although in my hand I only have the Kobe as, uh, as removal right now, and that is kind of an issue because um, I do need another one for the white beer, uh, and if I don't have that, I need to maneuver my uh, my end game in a different way. Um, I get the uh, 7k boost here, and I'll attack the leader. Uh, he wants to block that one. That's okay with me. I will play the Kobe, however. Use the action to KO the, um, the ace. I think I have to get rid of the, um, the 2k counter. I mean, the, the 2k uh, blocker. Two energy blocker and then i'll play my uh borsalino here and i'm able to um to just combat what, what my opponent is doing and you see this makimo was the worst investment that my opponent could have done uh because he's been giving me value for free every turn and you just cannot play one drops against uh, a smoker it's just it's gonna make your life much much uh more miserable um i will say both here and I, I want to keep the blocker because if I don't draw a removal spell for the 
wipe here, I'm gonna need to uh, play the, the blocker here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I have enough defense. If I go, he's an AK leader. So if I go 8-8 eight, eight or something like that, I'm just gonna lose the game on that spot. So my best play here is gonna be to play Hina. Uh, and use the leader ability. Oh, I think I don't use the leader. Oh, let me see. Yeah, I forgot to use my leader ability. Um, this was 2k 12. It didn't matter because he had uh, 12k exactly. So if I would have used the leader ability, I would have still been able. He would have still been able to a combo with those two cards. So, but that was a misplay on my end. I should have have uh, used the leader ability there. And um. Here, I didn't attack with anything else because I just the leader is AK. Uh, here, however, he does use the um, double Otama here. So he's if he doesn't go for game this turn, he's he's just dead. And yeah, I'll take the first attack here, but then I can I have a blocker and I have uh, 11k counters enough here. Uh, now the Makimo does again uh, do some work here and attacks for five. I don't really want to attack with a block with my 2k's here. So I'm going to let him attack for 8 because I do want him to go for game. And I know I have enough to out combo whatever he's got. And then here, it doesn't matter what he has. It's just not enough. Now he keeps 2 energy up. Uh, I am going to combo out of that one, however. Uh, draw for turn. And uh, once again, i am just uh, got to do the uh, attack for everything. He has only two cars in hand. I mean, three cars. So even if he has a radical, radical on uh, into a two K, that's only sixteen. Um, so it wouldn't be enough. So I, I, I have to go for game here. All right, and uh, yeah. So as you, as you guys saw, I didn't even see the Kusan any of the three games. Um, and I did some more games before that, and I didn't see Kusan at all. And I still feel like the deck work and, and function perfectly. Like you don't need the Kusan to win games. It's just an added bonus that you get to to do because you play black. Uh, the deck is really strong. I think this is one of the uh, sleepers of the deck as he forces forces the opponent to out combo him. You wanna do numbers just high enough to where the opponent wants to out combo him, and that's when you take advantage uh, over the game. Uh, with your removal and everything else. I think that's that's the most important thing about this leader. Uh, how to manage your smoker, your removal. That's just how you should play the, the leader and everything else. Uh, but with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a good day.